Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to show you my second design team project using the beautiful, beautiful, simple stories, Vintage Botanicals. As I told you before, this is one of my absolute favorite collections. It is just beautiful and so easy to work with. Uh, what I have made is, I call it a frame book. Whenever I got this collection, I went ahead, I got everything that you could possibly get in this collection because I loved it all. Um, this was a packet of just frames in this collection, and oh my gosh, they are absolutely fabulous. And as soon as I saw them over at Simple Stories, I thought, I want to make a book just with those frames. So that's what I did. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's, I think it's pretty neat, something a little bit different. And the overall book is six and a half by nine and a half. And there's tons of space in here. I wanted to make sure it was big enough to hold even five by sevens. Um, some of your larger pictures, your four by sixes. So again, I used the frames and I think that you will like it. So let me know what you think. Um, this is, of course, a chipboard album and it's all from scratch. Um, I used a lot of the pieces from the Simple Stories Vintage Botanical Collection. You know, one thing. I So honestly, I've used, I think, pretty much all but about two of the 8x8 sheets. I used everything in the 12 by 12 on these two projects and loved doing it. So this is my frame book. As you can see on the front, there is a frame. This is one of the frames in the collection. And it's large enough. I've made this so that you can slide a photo right underneath here. And that's where I put that paper there to show that's where your photo would go. And I've popped up. I went ahead and fussy cut some of the smaller um, cut aparts. And I made a, a little album here that slides right down in the back. This is a little trifold. I, these things, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love this collection. It's so cool. So as you can see, I went ahead and on the spine, I put a real pretty sheer pink ribbon and tied it in a bow. And I did use one of the uh, chipboard pieces from the collection. This is also one of the uh, really, really pretty, pretty chipboard pieces. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can open it and have plenty of space to show you. Okay, this opens this way. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit more. Yeah. I'll just have to keep moving. Sorry. This is what it looks like. This is on the inside of the front cover. And I went ahead and did one of the cut aparts, matted it, used one of the chipboard embellishments. And this holds two of the cut aparts here. These are perfect, perfect to do journaling or photo mats. Perfect for that. Um, again, I used so much of the paper I, that was left. I just absolutely loved it and even used some of the scraps to fill in. Then on this page, this is how this album goes, like this. So this first page, these are all pockets, okay? This is, this is a large pocket, and in this you can, they all have the large photo mats. You could go ahead and you could easily put a five by seven photo on there. And when you're looking at it, each one has one of these pockets. This flips up. Again, it is a pocket. There's a photo mat inside. You can use that for photos or you can go ahead and journal. And there's plenty of space to add tons more. I made sure I used half inch gussets so that there's plenty of space to put a lot of photos. Here's your, uh, your first photo mat on the inside. Isn't this awesome? So you would go ahead and slide your picture in from the top. And it would be right here in the center. Aren't these frames beautiful? Again, you open this up and you've got your large photo mat inside. And then on the back side here, you have the same thing. You have another one of these pockets and another one of these photo mats. 
These are all magnetized as well so that they ni stay nice and firm and in place. This is the next page. Here's my flip up here. And again, this pocket holds a ton of photos. More photo mats are just individual photos. Would be a good place to put them. And on this page, there's two. This is one frame, but it holds two photos. And again, slide them in from the top. magnetized and yes it has the large photo mat in the large pocket this side again has the pocket with the photo mat and tons of space here to to put a photo absolutely you can use this for some of your larger photos this page again, same way, all the way through. Photo mat, here's the frame. Here's our pocket with the photo mat inside. Turning the page, you've got the large photo mat here in the large pocket for your larger photos and again your photo pocket here to hold more photos or journaling or whatever you want to put in here I used to use some of the stickers to put on some of these little pockets I thought was pretty cute just a beautiful beautiful collection I, I just can't say enough good things about this collection the next page again here's one of the large frames Aren't these gorgeous? And again, picture just slides right in from the top. Here's our pocket with our photo mat inside. We're turning the page. And again, we have the large photo mat. We have our pocket. The pockets are all magnetized so they stay nice and snug and in place. See how nicely this stays too, that the books just lie so nice and flat. I really, really like that about it. Whoops, sorry. This page, and again we have a double frame so you can insert two photos. And here's our pocket for our extra photos or journaling. folding it down. I just love how this turned out though. Turning the page and here's our other photo pocket, our large page with our photo mat inside. Our pocket here. See I used some of the stickers. I, I like I said I tried to use almost everything and I pretty much did <laughs> use almost everything but it just worked I used one of the chipboard pieces down here two more of the cut aparts nice size I think what I'm going to do see this is what I do I second guess myself or I look at it and I think oh you know what I think I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go back in and my gussets here I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the scraps I have enough scraps I can go ahead and put some paper on those gussets so that's what I'm going to do I will make sure that I have the gussets papered whenever I do the photos which the photos I'll be working on here in just a moment but what do you think ladies isn't this just too stinking cute love this paper absolutely love this paper it was fun to work on and I thought it turned out pretty nice I was real happy and real pleased with it so again if you don't have this collection I highly recommend it 
Um, I think it's going to sell out. Um, I think Tammy's had to reorder it already. I think you'll really enjoy it. So if you have any questions, just give me a yell. And I'm going to get to work now on putting my pretty papers on my gussets and taking pictures. I will have still photos up on Facebook as well as on my blog. And this is going to be on YouTube. This is my Country Craft Creations Design Team Project using Simple Stories Vintage Botanicals. This is my second one using that collection so that I could use it, the rest of it. And this is what I call the frame book. So take a moment and catch my video and check out my photos. I will yell when I have them up on the blog. Thank you so much.